Artificial intelligence is here at Micro Center. AI-powered PCs are the biggest topic in tech right now, but AI is a very large topic that actually covers a lot of different things. Now, one important distinction to make when thinking about artificial intelligence is that it can occur in one of two different places, either locally or in the cloud. This means that the computational power needed to run the artificial intelligence can happen on your local system or the computer in your house or business, but larger, more complex operations, such as large language models and machine learning, do require massive processing power. And this happens over the internet and on the cloud. Currently, a majority of AI applications run on the cloud, but there are more local AI applications in development that will soon be able to run on your local devices in your own home or small business. And the power of local AI workstations is increasing rapidly, allowing for large models to run locally. There's many levels of AI, from AI-powered assistants, such as Microsoft's Copilot, generative AI, such as Adobe's Generative Fill and Photoshop, or image generators like Midjourney or Dolly, and then there's machine learning, which uses data and algorithms to mimic human learning and help with data analysis and inference, as well as large language models, such as ChatGPT and Llama 2. So what does all of this mean for you if you're in the market for an AI-powered PC? Well, let's take a look at some of the newer entry-level models in the AI PC market. Intel launched their Meteor Lake chips this year, which has an added NPU, or Neural Processing Unit. This is a dedicated tile on the chip meant for lower-powered tasks for local AI. Now, currently, this can be used for tasks such as background removal or background blurring on Zoom calls, audio enhancements on Zoom calls to remove background noise, and it increases audio fidelity. And the NPU handles these tasks with ease, allowing for more battery life on laptop devices. Currently, Programs that are using this NPU are limited, but developers are making more applications and more features that will be powered by this NPU. So you can look forward to many more programs utilizing this new architecture. AI-powered assistants are another big gain for a lot of people in the form of Microsoft's Copilot. This also launched this year, and this has a wide variety of features, such as looking through your documents and emails and helping pull up relevant information to your inquiries, such as, when is my doctor's appointment scheduled? Or who was I supposed to meet with for dinner next week? Now, this is currently running on the cloud, but there are plans for this to run locally in the future. Copilot will also integrate into Office 365, offering a wide variety of AI-powered features, such as inference for data in Microsoft Excel, helping to correct grammar and other wording options for emails, assistance in Microsoft Word with formatting documents, and generating slides for PowerPoint presentations. The list goes on and on, but Microsoft Copilot will be a very strong application of AI for everyday use. And frankly, it'll be the most common form of AI that you'll be using every day. Another form of AI is generative AI which is typically used for image generation. Now, this takes a word prompt and then it converts it into an image. Adobe Photoshop has a generative fill option which allows for users to change different areas of their image or create new images entirely through AI. Currently, this is being run through the cloud since it requires a lot of computational power to create these images. Other generative AI applications such as Midjourney or Dolly allow for more text to image generation and they also run on the cloud with subscription services. Some of the forms of AI that require the most computational power are large language models and machine learning. Most large language models are presented in the form of a chat, where you're chatting with an AI bot and these large language models are effective at generating text in response to an input. Depending on how the language model is trained, it'll offer a response to the best of its ability and offer any information relevant to the input. So if you ask it a question, it'll do its best to answer that question. This is a form of AI that traditionally has required extremely large amounts of computational power, or basically servers in the cloud, to produce results. But AI workstations are high-powered machines that allow for local use of these AI large language models in your own small business or data lab. This means that you can have a private set of data to train your large language model on, and you can get direct results 
without using an internet connection, which does help address privacy concerns when it comes to sharing your data with other cloud-based services. But it also gives you more control over how you can fine tune your large language model for your own use case. This can be used in a variety of applications, such as healthcare, software developments, chatbots, AI assistants, the list goes on and on, and the potential for large language models is huge. Language models are trained on exactly that, language. They use machine learning to perform natural language processing, which is a way to learn patterns and connections between words. The models are trained on large amounts of text data, such as books, articles, web pages, and any other text that can help pre-train the model. The more data the model is trained on, the better it'll be at generating content. There's many layers to a large language model, but the models can learn context, so they can better understand the prompts that they're given so they can deliver text more accurately. They can be used to recognize, summarize, translate, and predict text, and they can also help with coding. Now, machine learning can also be done locally on an AI workstation. This allows you to take large data sets and teach the AI how to look for patterns or trends that you may not find on your own. If you're looking into sales or marketing data and you want to look for trends, this will help point out those trends in the data sets that you feed to the AI. This is another form of AI that has traditionally needed massive amounts of computational power, and it can now be done locally. Machine learning is strictly data and number driven, so the more numerical data that you feed a machine learning model, the more accurately it can predict trends. If you give it years and years of data that your company has, it can predict future trends almost instantly, which can give you a competitive edge when making business decisions. When you hear about all of this unlimited potential of AI, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it can be used for. A high-end AI workstation that can do large language models and machine learning locally actually has many, many applications in various industries. In healthcare, large language models can be trained to process medical records and analyze research papers to find insights and identify trends. Deep learning models can be used for image analysis, such as x-rays, MRIs, and other medical images to help diagnose abnormalities. In finance, algorithmic trading models can analyze financial markets, identifying trading opportunities and execute trades at high speeds. They can also be trained to analyze customer behavior and financial transactions to detect fraudulent activities. In manufacturing, Predictive maintenance models can analyze sensor data from the machinery to predict equipment failures and help prevent downtime. Supply chains can have optimization models that can look at historical data and market trends to optimize inventory management and logistics. The automotive industry has a big use case for AI that you may already be familiar with, with self-driving car models, which require vast amounts of training data and processing power for tasks like object recognition, path planning, and risk assessment. Outside of self-driving cars, there's also optimizations that can be made in car design for better aerodynamics, fuel efficiency, and safety features. In the field of scientific research, genomics and protein folding models need vast data sets which can be analyzed by AI to help understand diseases and develop new treatments. There's also climate modeling and weather forecasting models that can be bolstered by AI for greater accuracy in analyzing data and predicting weather. These are just some of the bigger use cases for AI in many industries, and we'll see AI integrate into all industries and workflows in the upcoming years, especially when it's run locally with the increased processing power coming to local computers every year. When using large language models and machine learning models, you want a system with one to two high-powered CPUs, such as an AMD Threadripper or an Intel Xeon CPU. And these can have anywhere from two to four GPUs, such as an NVIDIA A6000 or an NVIDIA H100. The biggest benefit to a machine like this is keeping your data private and local, as well as being able to process this much data on a budget. While a cloud-based large language model or machine learning AI will run much, much faster, you can still run large models while only spending a fraction on what you would for a subscription model for an AI cloud service. The world of AI is rapidly changing, and Micro Center has everything that you need for AI PCs. Whether you're looking for a laptop with an NPU for for everyday AI use, or you're a data scientist in the medical field looking into human DNA. Microcenter has all of the AI PCs that you need.
Be sure to check out our assortment of AI PCs and AI workstations at your local micro center and ask an associate to help you on your AI powered journey.